My name is Henry Colt. Today my team and I are going to demonstrate a series of bronchoscopy step-by-step -step exercises. Just as one learns to play tennis or play golf in stages, or learns to play a musical instrument step-by-step, -step, one can also learn bronchoscopy using the systematic approach. We've thus deconstructed bronchoscopy into a separate group of exercises. This allows us to develop muscle memory and spatial awareness by identifying the appropriate lobar and segmental anatomy and learning to rotate the bronchoscope in an atraumatic fashion. Step four is the right-left exercise at the level of the carina. The scope can be rotated as we look at the right main bronchus and the left main bronchus. The right main bronchus and the left main bronchus. Another technique rotates the wrist in the opposite direction, again looking at the left main bronchus and the right main bronchus, the left main bronchus and the right main bronchus, taking care to keep the scope centered and off the wall. Step 5 is an extension of the left-right exercise of the carina, adding an element of navigation as we navigate the bronchoscope down the right main bronchus and then down the left main bronchus. We rotate the wrist and move the bronchoscope down to the takeoff of the right upper lobe. Coming back to the carina, we now navigate the scope down the left main bronchus, again to the takeoff of the left upper lobe. Once more, rotating at the wrist, right side, left side, right side, left side. Another technique being full rotation of the wrist, right side, left side. right side and notice the complete rotation of the wrist to go down the left. Left side. Always keeping the scope at the midline. The step six exercises take us to the lobar bronchi on both the right side and the left. We move from the right main bronchus to the right upper lobe bronchus. From the right main bronchus to the right lower lobe bronchus. Rotating the wrist once more, we move down the left main bronchus to the left upper lobe bronchus and down the left main bronchus rotating the wrist slightly to stay in the midline to the entrance of the left lower lobe bronchus. Notice how we always keep the scope in the midline position. The wrist rotates gently to keep the scope in the center of the airway. 